I don't maybe that uh maybe that header isn't so so far fetched dream after all. Yeah, let's Three, unlock header. Two, if if Ooh. John wins this, here's the thing. If John wins this match, we have to it's our responsibility as people, as people of the world, to get uh get HO3 header HO3K header back in Yeah, back in the mold. Yeah. All right, this match happened so back to back. I still have to upload the last match, so give me a moment. All right, I'll just you know talk like I would. Dude, they picked um, like the, they picked like like one of the best uh, battlefields. I'm always a sucker for this. But he didn't have Megalovania this time. Explode. <laughs> Are you telling me to explode? <laughs> yes. That was a oh, what? Uh, okay, actually, Venia got the footstool right there. He's nutty, dude. Why? <laughs> Why would he go that high with an upbeat? I mean, he lived, but like, at but, what yeah. cost? If you call that living. Is he dead? Ooh, is he dead? Am I dead? Somehow everyone is alive. That's what this basically comes down to here. So one thing actually that it's important to remember how the set went in winners and a couple of the problems that occurred for numbers. Uh, one of them was he went for those. Oh, he's dead. He's alive. He's dead. He's alive. <laughs> he just dodges it. That's stop. Wow. Also, great recognition from numbers that Venia was going to basically thread the needle between those two platforms. Mm. Like, if he had landed on top, he would have had to position himself differently, I believe. And now numbers, with that nice little kick of momentum, he does have a lead here. Not by much. Not by, barely by anything, actually. But Ooh. considering the fact that it felt like this game was going to slip away from him at the start, he is doing pretty all right for himself. Ooh. You know, Benny is being a lot more patient this game than he was in Winners, it feels. He's staying at more of a distance and choosing his moments for attack just a little carefully. And that's huge right there. Getting that forward smash, ending John Stock in an earlier sort of time frame means that now he can play a more of that aggressive thing and feel comfortable doing so. Even though he's at 100. Oh. Why didn't he get hit that time? What did numbers do differently that he didn't get hit by the soccer ball? I need to watch it. Oh, that is weird. Is oh, that's super. Yeah, you're right. What, what was different? Um, Chat. maybe it had to do Help. with when the timing of like where he was in his animation. Because he was moving. When he was getting forward. Counter. Yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know if there's actually like a strict counterplay to that. Then, if John can start implementing that, I mean. Oh my God. <gasps> this is huge. Oh, he should have just done another up B. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Shadow sneak from Venia giving him some <laughs> stage control. <laughs> oh my oh my smash. god, yo. Numbers is kinda going off the right now. Tomahawk F smash. I'm sorry, the Tomahawk Warrior pose. Tomahawk Warrior. Yes. Now that's a punk band. If Ooh. And he dies off the side. We ain't having any of that. I wanna let's take a look at that from from before. Cause that was hella weird. Yeah, look. It's just because like he was still moving for but like does does he just have that ability? Either way, this was this also was just sick. So it was just like, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it was just like don't oh, you stupid goodbye. Three, two, one, go! Wait, are all of Grin just smash attacks kunai? Uh yeah. I like to say that, like, the way his swords changed in this game, they're actually uh, those, like, the Halo Plasma Swords. Because, like, when I first saw them in this game, I was like, those don't look like anything. I don't know what those are. 
They remind Arcticus me of Halo Plasma Swords. They are Kunai. Kunai. No, they are. It just took me some... It took me a good while to like really look at them and be like, all right, yeah, okay. But I think it would be cooler if, if uh, Greninja just had Halo Plasma Swords. <laughs> it's like he actually is Master Chief. <laughs> he's a frog. No one knew. Oh, he's dead? No, he's not. Back at him? I guess he didn't have... Uh, Yo, they released Master Chief as a Greninja skin? Yes. Why don't they have DLC skins for characters? Because uh, they don't like money. Thank you to Nemesis hey. for the sub. Shout out to Nemesis. Thank ooh. you so much for that ooh, sub. Ooh, ooh. Now let's get back a little bit to this match at least. Numbers has been able to dodge most of the damage, but right as I say, that gets hit by a 48% combo. 48 damage. Good conversion from Numbers. The weak hit of those hula hoops able to combo into back air. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he Whoa. What a tech! That was so beautiful. I don't even know what angle Venia came at him from, but Numbers <laughs> seemed to recognize and actually managed to tech that, keeping himself alive, which is huge right now. Once again, Venia's angles on his up when he's recovering are just so good. They're so good. This combo, depending on how big it is, might decide the game outright. <laughs> wow, I didn't, when I said decide the game outright, I didn't think it meant like that. All right, Venia taking the set 2-0. Game two, a very convincing two stock, as he now gets the chance to get that run back against Mr. E, who knocked him into losers in the first place. He still has his chance at a three-peat. Let's see if he is able to see that dream to fruition or whether Mr. E will dash it into the ground basically